Hi, I'm Carolyn Carter. I am the Certification Tools Product Manager at Fluke Networks, and it's my pleasure today to introduce you to the FI3000 Fiber Inspector Probe for both single and MPO in-faces. So I'm going to start by telling you what comes with the product and then introducing you to it. It all comes in this case, which will hold everything. Besides the probe in the case, you have a USB cord to connect it to Versive. It has a charger, and then it has full worldwide adapters so you can charge it no matter where you are in the world. It also has a holster, which I'm going to show you how to use in a few minutes. That's really nice and will make your job easier. Then it has different tips and adapters. So as you know, we have both single mode and multi-mode um, fiber in MPO, and you need different tips and adapters for that. So if you have multi-mode, which is aqua, you're going to be using a UPC tip, which looks like this. And notice it has an aqua or blue ring on it. You will also be using a key up, key up gray adapter to connect um, to an in-face. If you are using single mode, which uses APC, then you'll be using an APC tip. You'll notice it also is green and it is angled because all APC has a seven to eight degree angle to it. You also, since it's APC, will need to be using a key up, key down adapter, which is also green. So remember, if you're using single mode, which is green connectors, make sure you're using a green adapter and a green tip. The kit also contains this special single fiber adapter, which supports a whole range of optional um, single fiber tips, such as these 1.25 and 2.5 millimeter bulkhead and patch cord tips, plus a whole range of other tips, including an extension tip um, to get into those hard to reach spaces. Now we also have for you a little box that will hold all your adapters and your connectors. And the nice thing about this is it fits into the holster. All right, now I'd like to show you some details about the probe itself. The first thing I'd like to show you is on the base or on the bottom of the probe, there is a USB-C port. That is for connecting it to Versive using the USB cord or for charging it with the charger. Next, it has a cap to protect the front. And here is where I'm going to connect all my tips. So if I happen to take this tip, I can just push it on and twirl it. And then I have the tip connected. And the nice thing is well, the cover also will fit with a tip on. In the back of the unit, I have a display and four buttons. This one right here on the bottom is power on off. When I hit it, you'll see a blue light goes on. That blue light is telling me that I am now Wi-Fi enabled. I also have another button here, and this is the port bright button. This is really nice if I'm in a dark enclosure. Because when I push that button, a little LED on the front goes on, and now I can see things in a dark location. So that is really nice. I'm going to turn it off. There's also an autofocus and a test button, which you'll see later on. This is basically what comes with the product. Next, I want to show some optional accessories that you may be very well interested in. The first is a quick clean, and this is a 1224. It is good for cleaning a 1x12 or a 2x12 in-face. It's really important that you clean your MPOs because dirt can just move from one fiber to another fiber um, when you're using an MPO. And as we know, over 80% of all network problems on a fiber system are due to dirt. So make sure you have some type of cleaning material. So this one again is for 1224. I have a second one. This one is for 1632s. So if I have a 1x16 or a 2x16 giving me 32 fibers, this is what I'm going to use. Now if I am using a 1632 system, I need some different tips and adapters. And so I have here one for UPC 16 and a new adapter for 16. Why do I need a new tip? I need a new tip because if you look here on the front, this key, it's not in the middle like it is on my base 12. It's been moved to the side. And so now um, that will tell me it's a 16 based tip instead of a 12 based tip. I need a new adapter because if you look at the adapter, it also has the key moved. 
So you need to make sure you're using the right tip and the right adapter, whether you're using a 12-base system or a 16-base system. So we do have optionals if you're using 16. We also have an optional set of single fiber tips that gives you both a 1.25 and 2.5 patch cord and bulkhead tip set. All right, now I'd like to show you how the holster works. Let's start with the back flap. This is really nice because it gives me the ability to use the holster whether I'm wearing a belt or not. If I'm wearing a belt, so I just flip the holster through the belt and I'm off and ready. Or if you're like me and you don't wear a belt, I can just take this flap up, stick it in my pocket, and I'm ready to go. So the holster works with or without a belt, which is a nice feature. So if I open this and it has a magnetic enclosure on front, I can take a quick clean. Again, remember I said it's very important that you clean your MPOs, and it can go right here in the front. The little container that is holding all of my adapters and tips so if I need to change adapters or tips when I'm in the field, I have them with me. Go right here in the front. Then the probe itself just drops right in. And close the front. And there I go. I have my package. Everything I need to test MPO or single fiber in the field. Now, everything except one important element. You do need to download the app onto your phone or a tablet from the appropriate store. If you're using iOS, you're gonna download it from the Apple Store. If you're using an Android device, you'll download it from Google Play. The application is called FIN, F-I-N. So make sure you download and install that on your phone or tablet, and then we're ready to go and start inspecting MPO or single in faces.